The name Cackling Goose may conjure up images of rogue Canada geese laughing at the poopy mess they've left in a picnic park. But as of 2004, the Cackling Goose became a legitimate bird species. For a long time, Cackling Geese were thought to be just a smaller subspecies of the highly variable Canada Goose. But genetic analysis painted a different picture, elevating the biological status of this much smaller, stockier lookalike of the Canada Goose. Like Canada geese in general, cackling goose populations have increased over time following historic overhunting as a result of focused management and habitat conservation efforts. Cackling geese are about half the size of Canada geese, but share the general pattern of a black head and neck, white chin strap, and a large grayish-brown body that's darker on top and fades into a dusty color on the undersides. The undertail area is white. In addition to size differences, cackling geese have a shorter, sleeker bill, a rounder head, and a shorter, thicker neck than their cousins. Our local cackler also has a small white band at the base of the black neck. You may hear cackling geese ominously laughing at night during the full moon. No, not really. Their calls are similar to those of Canada geese, but are generally higher pitched. Cackling geese breed on Canada's northernmost mainland tundra and adjacent Arctic islands, and are therefore exclusively migratory visitors in our region. They appear between mid-March and late April, travelling northward from overwintering areas throughout the U.S., and then pass through again from mid-September to mid-December. Small numbers of cackling geese are often found among large migrating flocks of Canada geese, but individual birds tend to stick together. They feed on aquatic plants and grasses, as well as aquatic invertebrates, and often stay in the water. <laughs>